Dungeons and Dragons. And junk drawer. No, it's like it's dry up there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. I'm gonna make Gross. it so dry for you. <laughs> make it like sand. Hi. What's up? Oh my god. That's gonna be a weird opening. <laughs> Super weird. So dry. <laughs> uh, so last episode, <sighs> shit went down. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we we fought some vampire spawn. Uh, Justin did poor math. Uh, or buffed him? We'll, we'll just say you buffed him. You buffed him. Who cares? <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, we found this area that was with, uh, it was arcane locked that Casimir opened because apparently there's voices talking to him in his head or whatever. And then he got punched out of the room because d d It's what happens tonight. It's d and uh, day. And yeah, I think that was like pretty much the only notable things that transpired um so who's yep looking at the the temple and the golem and so it was you, you uh you? it was rufio and Absi. yep <laughs> so we'll backtrack my favorite thing to do so well, that's as, volume four you can hear me okay you go i'm just gonna turn it down. okay so as you are all um as the two of you are looking at the Entryway and deciding what to do because amongst the four of you, you guys were bickering of what to do with the, all the loot. Like, holy shit, this is a lot of gold. Casimir's uh, invisibility drops, and in the midst of him being locked in, the stone golem zeroes in on him and starts winding up as this uh, fist comes careening towards Casimir. He manages to speak the uh, the doors closing not before being punched directly into the jet chest and flying back to the back of the temple. As the stone golem reels back for another hit, the doors close, and you you don't hear anything. As soon as there's nothing in sight, the stone golem stops. And Casimir gets snacked, knocked all the way back to... Let's just say he's here. So he, he fucking flew. So, and he is... He's at zero. He's like Mayday help y'all he needs some milk like he's ready to like die i run straight up to him okay yeah yeah i, I run up too and i uh cast cure wounds second level okay we'll see how long he's out for two hours okay but he's stable yeah oh <clears throat> i pick him up okay what should we do want me to grab him I got him. Okay. Uh, well, i been thinking, and the safest place in here is probably with the Lich. How is that the safest place? He doesn't move. Nothing seems to go in or out of there. And Casimir found this area or found the library in there, there might be other things we can find. I think you're right. We have to get into... Sorry, he makes sense. He makes sense. Let's get... We gotta get Casimir to safety. I mean, at least, at least go up to the library. At least. We can lay him down there, figure out what to do next. Clearly that room is not where we need to go. And the library is where we took a long rest. Right. Yes. So. Yeah, and I don't think that, I don't think that Trevor treasure that's with that golem is, it's not worth it. I don't think it's real. I think it's super real, and I want to worry about that later. Wooden pony. As cool as it is, as cool as that is, I don't need it. You do though. I don't. Look, he, he one shot at Casimir, so let's just get him upstairs and figure this all out. Casimir's squishy, but regardless, yeah, let's go. So we'll go back up to the library. Okay. So you go up the <clears throat> secret staircase, you're back in the grand library. I lay Casimir down and I'll take the pelt. Mm-hmm. Uh, the ram? The ram pelt and kind of like put it under his head, kind of like okay. let him rest. Sounds good. I want to go see the lich you want to see the lich yeah but you were so against seeing the lich earlier 
At least the room. There, there could be other things in there that could be useful in this area. If you aren't comfortable, you don't have to come. I'm a big boy. I can handle myself. Well, one of us should stay here with Casimir and take care of him, so I'll volunteer. If you need me, just yell, and I'll come over. I can do that. Yeah, I'll hang out here, too. Right. Let's go, Rufio. As we're going, it's, uh, is it, uh, is it up the stairs, or is it... It's right next to where the library is. It's right it next like to where the library is. Adjacent. So. It's adjacent. It's not like, I would say it's like from here to maybe Josh's room. Okay. As, it's not like far. Oh, like, okay. when we kind of get with a, out of earshot of them, mm-hmm. I'll look over to Absy and I'll go, I know your secret. What secret? And I'll just smile at him, and I'll walk into the the room with the lich. Why the change of heart? Why the change of heart? I just think that there's helpful things in this area. I said that an hour ago when you yelled at me for being power hungry. So what changed? Because something clearly did. Just, uh, want the best for the group, is all. And what's that? To get out of here alive and strong. Well, I think we can both agree on that. Seems that way. So do we look around? You seem to have something in mind here. Uh, where is, is he just still sitting in the chair? Is he like, is his neck craned around? Like what's the Lich doing currently? He's kind of like looking at the archway and he goes, hello. <laughs> he's talking forward and not to us. No, he's talking oh, okay. to your archway. I saw him like talking? his face forward. <laughs> well, he's like, what? What's your favorite kind of wolf? What's your favorite kind of wolf? <laughs> um, and I'll go, hello. Do I know you? Very well. We're old friends. Oh, I'm sorry. I may have forgotten. How do we know each other? We've met many times. I'm sorry. I may I have forgotten your name. It's okay. May you I forgot you? your name as well. I have. How are we going to... I want to roll investigation on the room or like fake investigation. Okay. What are you doing? In <clears throat> I want to look around the room, but I also want to try and get to the book. Okay. Like, or closer to the book and, like, try and, like... Okay, so you want to be closer to where the nightstand is. Yeah. So as you creep closer and closer, go ahead and roll, like, a stealth to see if you can kind of be... Super or... disadvantage. Yeah. No, deception. Deception. Because you're being deceiving with your action. <laughs> uh, Fifteen. Fifteen, you kind of get closer to where the nightstand is and where the book is. The the, the book is, is still, like, by on, like, his leg towards the nightstand. Like, mm. maybe he was in the middle of closing it because it looks like it's closed that way. And then he just kind of forgot it was in his, in his possession. But his hand is, like, I would say here, and the book's, like, here on his leg. Mm. Hmm. Rufio, what are you doing? I want the book. Now you want the book? Yeah. I wanted the book. There's a book? <laughs> oh. I can't with this guy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't realize this was here. I'd like to peruse it. How do we help him? Put your hands out. I may know a way. Does it involve your angel friend? It does. He can heal him. Well, yeah, he can heal him through me. What What happens if we heal him and it's not good? I don't know. High risk. High reward. High risk. High reward. Uh, I will... Fuck. Nice. You will fuck? I will fuck. Don't fuck him. <laughs> I'm a fuck. I'm gonna teach him how to remember through the power of my loins. Absolutely, come here. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Bend over, touch your toes. Unchain the scythe. Mm-hmm. 
stand ready and uh and have uh my hunter's mark prepared okay or my hex one of the two i don't care they're the same thing um and i'll be like whenever you're ready and he takes notice and he goes that's a very pretty hook i'm just trying to show you friend oh we are friends very close do you remember my name i do but you're about to remember hopefully here soon oh i would like to do that whenever you're ready look man i don't know what's going on i was all about getting the book but giving him back his memory like you said what if he's not going to be on our side an hour ago you were ready to jump into this i'm here supporting you now i was ready to take the book not necessarily to give him back his memory the only way we're going to get the book is if we give him back his memory. He's not going to give it up. I'll I'll chain the scythe and I'll run downstairs and grab one of the blank books and I'll ask him if he wants to trade. Like, switch him out. Oh. Can I see it? I'll hand it to him. And with the other hands, as he has the hand on the other Yeah. Book. He looks through it. There are no words in this page, in this book. It's your book, though. It does not have a name on it. I think but- I'll continue to peruse this one. And you see him put it down to the on the nightstand, the blank one, and he starts. Oh, there's some book. <laughs> and he starts going through the book again. You said that book doesn't have your name on it? It has no name on it. Hmm. Well, Andy... Is that my name? That is your name. If I give you your memory back... Do I look like an Andy? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yes. what? What's your favorite kind of wolf? Oh. Dire wolf. He's got some memory. But if I gave you your memory back, what would you do for us? Oh, I would be very grateful. It's so hard remembering things. I feel that there's nothing scarier than forgetting everything you've ever known. Your name, what your favorite food was, drink. Does the name Strahd von Zarevich mean anything to you? Is that my name? No. He said it was Andy. It is Andy. Do I look like an Andy? You look more handsome than an Andy. Oh. And you see him and he puts one of his hands to his face and you hear the bones click against the skull. Oh. I think you were tricking me. No, I would never do that, Andy. You see him put his hand back down. Okay. I'll unchain the scythe again and prepare Hunter's Mark. Okay. Let's give it a shot. I rub my hands together because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. <laughs> and I, I just, I look at what other people have done when they've done magic and I try to do my best. What are you doing? I'm casting the magic. Who are you talking to? Myself. Oh, shut I'm, up. Okay. Shut up. Fuck you. Okay. <laughs> and I put, I put my hands out mm-hmm. up to Andy. So you go to Andy and you see him kind of like take the book and he goes, I don't understand. As you put your hands onto his forearm, this, you can smell this. And actually I'll, I'll give it to both of you. You, All three of you start smelling brimstone, fire. Sulfur? Sulfur. Yeah. Like someone just beef. (laughs) Uh, No, you smell like the, the fire and brimstone crackling, Uh, something like burning as Epsi puts two hands on this very bony forearm, and slowly but surely, a greater restoration spell is is placed through your patron. Um, and you see, slowly but surely, the Andy looks up at you, and then looks at you. That's enough of that. You can put that away. 
Andy. Cute nickname. Thank you. I'm very grateful. You're welcome. It's been a very long time. And you see him start to slowly get up and you hear all the bones kind of shift and creak and crack. That was disgusting. Uh, uh, that was real. <laughs> Heard that in the other room. <laughs> oh. What brings you here? I would offer you to sit, but it seems I only have one chair and I like this one. We're looking for ways to help us defeat Strahd von Zarevich. Oh, Strahd's still around. He is. Ugh. I feel like there were more... There was someone who really liked wolves. They're uh, downstairs. Not downstairs. No, no you're to the... Oh, the sorry, library. they're to the... They're in, they're the, in library. the other room. If there are more of you, I'd like to meet you. Formally. Hey, Shark! Thok. Yeah! Uh, come here. Did I come running? Everything okay? Yeah. And yeah. very slowly you see Andy. And I don't I wouldn't describe like a face that's not a face lighting up, but yeah. if he had a face, he kind of lights up and there's this sense of recognition as he looks at you and he goes, Dire Wolf. It's your favorite kind of wolf, right? Well, I'm more partial to white, but I remember having a conversation. I remember I remember liking you, but uh we didn't know what your name was, so I just called you Andy. It's, it seems everyone has been calling me Andy. It kind of stuck, you know. My name is Xthanter. You can call me Andy if it's a mouthful. Andy, got Andy, it. got it, heard. <laughs> so, what brings two followers of separate death patrons and you're something all different altogether? Looking for a way to defeat Strahd. I'm holding on to my mace so hard. Oh, right now. You're starting to white knuckle down. Yeah. Easy killer. You've helped me. I have no reason to attack. There are more of you, though. He's... He... Incapacitated. Got punched by a stone golem really hard. Oh, you didn't touch the treasure, did you? Not yet. I wouldn't advise doing that. Why? Well, this used to be a temple for wizards. I don't know if you've perused about, but there was a wizard quite some time ago that was charred. I want to say a couple of hundred years ago by the flame skulls that lived here. We've, we've met the flame skulls. However, there are many guards. Have you been down in the catacomb yet? Briefly. We have. Oh. Have you spoken to anyone yet? Spoken to anyone? Yes, spoken. No. This, There's people to speak to? This, my dear gentleman, is a very rare opportunity to get a leg up on Strahd. Powers that you probably haven't seen before. Abilities. Something that him or your patron might not be able to do instantly come back to life having foreseen knowledge very tantalizing how would we get these powers you make a deal I've made multiple deals already what's another deal on the stack it depends on the deal yes sharp what's your favorite kind of wolf white yeah <laughs> I'd do anything to get my brother back, so... Oh, I'm sorry to hear about her brother. Ugh. And you see him, he slowly gets up, and while he moves, his cloak is so, like, long. It looks like he kind of just floats over the, like, he doesn't take steps. He goes over to where, oh, one of my books. And he picks up the blank page. Which one is this one again? And you see him, and he puts his face up to the book and whispers something into it. And all of a sudden, you see these etchings come out on the outside of the uh, book and as he thumbs through it you see there's writing on the and different diagrams and whatnot it looks like everything's password locked and puts it back and he says the word and it goes back to blank private library and you see him slowly he starts going back to the library to put it back and you see him by Casimir then he looks over and puts the book back 
You okay, Thok? <laughs> no. <laughs> but I will do my best to hold back. Easy, big guy. Can you help us find these advantages? Sure. Mm. Wait. And you see him and he kind of looks off and he looks down at Casmian. Someone was reaching out to this one. He said he was hearing voices. Mm. They're reaching out to me too. Who? He goes by... Zudun. He has a very particular gift. Does the name ring any bells to anybody? You can roll. I mean, this is Barovian, like... Oh, so no. No. It'd be like super disadvantage. Yeah. He was a wizard. All these sarcophaguses are two very powerful, dark wizards. Is that who we would have talked to? Well, he's implying, because he... I'll tell them. He gave you information to show his goodwill to Casimir. And so now, he simply wants to pose a question to Casimir. And he says we can do that by placing his body in front of his sarcophagus. And when he wakes up, he will pose the question to him. Very tantalizing. That sounds dangerous. Yeah, it doesn't sound the most fun. Can we wait until he wakes up and just take him down there? I mean, if you would like to lug him around, I'm afraid he's going to break that mace in his hands. Thok, you want to wait in the other room? Oh, um, okay. Looks back over. And that's kind of like this. And... Why doesn't he pose the question through you? It is not, he's not awake. I can't pose the question to him if he's oh. not awake. Oh, I th- okay. I got you. Private matters. I wouldn't want to give away any of your secrets to them, would I not? I'm an open book. Mm. Mm. Not really. <laughs> oh. No? No. Well, I'm not a book, so... I don't even know what's going on. <laughs> he, he is also not open, but a story for another time. I guess so. So you want to talk to Casimir? Oh, no, no, no. Uh, he would like to talk to Casimir. If we simply put his body, we'll be more than ha- I will be more than happy to show you the rest of the uh, catacomb, or if you leave him up here... It does not make no difference to me. I'm just doing a favor for you. Can he be trusted? Who? This entity. Everything in here can't be trusted. So, then that why would we... Ah, uh, that includes them. Did you say can or can't? Can. Cannot can't be like trusted. Not. Well, everyone has their own biases and their own thing that they want to accomplish. Me? I don't really want to rule Barovia. What I'd do you want? Stay here with my books. Why become a lich just for books? Hmm. I'm very, very old. Things that you do as a young man, the viciousness, the wickedness in one's heart, seems to buff over time. Like a mountain by the sea is buffed by the, the ocean. And soon that jagged, cracked harsh face is soon buffed to a smooth one and previous feelings well what I did thousands before Strahd was sucking his mother's tit <laughs> not the same things I want now do you regret it? regret living forever yes When you start forgetting things, yes. Understandable. I vote we don't bring Casimir to the sarcophagus. Is there anywhere safe we can keep him? As long as you're with me, you won't be attacked. But if he doesn't come with us, will he? 
I wouldn't assume that any of the flame skulls would come up if he wasn't making any noise. It doesn't seem that he's snoring. I mean, if not, it's he's not that big. It's not a problem for me to carry him, so... Uh, last time we let you carry things, they died. There was It was four children. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, like, first off, that was on a different plane. I was being attacked. I did everything I could. That's That's a low blow. I'm just saying. There's a lot of hostility amongst the four of you. There could be more. There could be more? Yeah. Oh, enlighten me. Easy talk. So. Would he be safe if we took him down to the sar- our soph- whatever thing? Sar- sarcophagus. Sarcophagus, thank you. Well, and he looks over to where the library is and where the hinges. It seems you have found how to get in there. Nothing wanders up if we close the door. We seal him away. We let him make his own decision. No? I think that's fair. That's fair. Is that okay with you? Fuck. I'm gonna uh, hold a compelled duel if I see Thok try and do anything, mm-hmm. and I'll cast it on him if, if he uh, decides to do anything towards our Andy. Yeah. This is what the party wishes, then I will go along with it. But the moment that you cross us, there's no forgiving. Understood. If I may say, in my previous state, I was lesser than what I am now. I'm a lot meaner than old, forgetful Andy. That's fine. You need to see him creak over. I will wait gingerly at the bottom of the stairs. Please, talk amongst yourselves. I do love gossip. And very slowly, without, like, he has his back to the staircase, and he looks at all of you, and very pleasantly and a little eerily, he slowly descends the staircase like he's uh, floating down it. In which staircase? The 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 one one to the the catacombs. catacombs. So he slowly just looks back. Not the gold one? Not Okay. Sound travels as it echoes through the bottom of the staircase. That's kind of (laughs) cool. Thank you. (laughs) So what are our options here? We can let Casimir decide what he wants, right? Yeah. That's what I understood. Yeah, I mean, if we leave him here, that voice, as soon as he wakes up, that voice in his head is probably going to try and get him to come down to that sarcophagus. Look. Or we can bring him to the sarcophagus. I don't know, that's almost us deciding his fate for him. Exactly. If we leave Casimir here, he knows where the staircase is. He knows how to open it. If he chooses to do that, then that's on him. If this lich crosses us, I have five radiant smites. I think that, he heard that. You hear the laugh kind of echo. It's like a, it's like a humorous chuckle, like when your kid brings you like a picture that they drew. You're like I drew a flower, mommy. Did he take his book? Yes. I don't know. I mean, minus the fact that he likes white wolves more than dire wolves, I think he's a pretty okay guy. He hasn't. I don't think he's done anything that I think suggests that. He's, like, gunning for us right now. I think he... I mean, mean, you heard him. He said he's grateful. So, I don't think we're in danger, but we just need to be weary. You're so trusting, Shart. I mean... Me and him, he remembered... You wanted to beat Strahd. You want to destroy Strahd. You want to rip his ear off. Well, we now have the ability to potentially get a leg up. That's why I trust him. I don't trust him, but I'm willing to see what he can offer us. If he's as powerful as he says he is, and he's yet to kill us, I think we might as well. Doc, you're part of this group now. The rewards better outweigh the risks. That's all I gotta say. If this is what we need to do to defeat something worse, then I'll go along with it. But like I said, the moment he crosses us, uh, that's when I see that. As long he said, as, as long as we're with him, we should be able to cross through here unharmed. 
let's see how much his word counts. Are we just deciding if we're going to walk with him or not? I'm just I mean, to... we're going to follow him through the catacombs. This oh, is... yeah, let's do that. Definitely. Like, we're definitely There's no to... reason not to. We're leaving. So we're leaving Casimir here. Yeah. Should we leave a note with Casimir so that he doesn't think we're dead? I think we're going to take two hours. Do we know how long he's going to be out for? To, uh, you don't really have an indication, so it can be like 30 minutes. It can be an hour. Okay. It can be like three days. You have yeah, sending, we write a note. right? We should probably write a note. You have sending? You could. I do, but do you want me to just cast sending like every Constantly hour sending. and all of a sudden not hear a reply because he's still unconscious? That's fair. Yeah, we'll scribble a note real quick. Okay. okay. Maybe I could just talk into his rock. That's not how that works. There's a rock? <laughs> no. Oh, thank your line. That's fine. I'm not. Like so it, it, he's at the bottom of the stairs. Mm-hmm. So he's just yelling up. No, he's talking, and the sound is traveling up. It's like he's talking at this level, and the way his voice can carry, it just goes to and fills that room. Oh, okay. So no, he's not so like the, yo. No matter how far he is, it always sounds like he's. It right sounds like here. he's right by your ear. I like that. It sounds like it tickles the back of your ear, like he's right behind you. And then when you look around, he's not there. So we'll scribble a note to Casimir. That's not how you spell that. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Shit. Um, I'm foul Casimir. spelling. You never told us how to spell. That. Hey Cassie. Hey, Cassie. <laughs> uh, we'll just write a note real quick to Casimir. Let him know that we're exploring the catacombs, and. Uh, to have him reach out to us. I don't know if he has messages sending or whatever, but we'll if he can out. reach out to us to do so when he wakes up. We should also we should also leave that the voice trying to contact him is uh, Z- Zudun? Zadun? Zadun, yeah. And we'll include that as well. Okay. Uh, yeah, and then go down, go down the stairs. stairs. And he's just, he's expecting as you come down and that skeleton grin slowly but surely his hood's back up so as you distance in you just see the red eyes peering at you and then as you get closer more of his face and his visage appears and he goes so I hear you've made a decision take us to where the goodies are Andy so I'll stay as far back as possible you step far okay I just want to be able to see it's like disturbing like it's, it's it is killing you in the pit of your stomach that he's just walking around and he's like flaunting it. You would have the same reaction if the high risk, high reward wasn't in your head. Mm-hmm. But you're you're disgusted by this, and he knows it, and he knows you're not going to do a thing about. It. So he just flaunts it even he's more. He's just flaunting it. He's like, "You're all my undead friend." <clears throat> am I am I torn, or am I all about the all about the reward? I heard baby. that. Okay. Money. So quick meta for <laughs> those of you that are watching. When I picked up the wand, I got a flaw that Rufio is to seek uh, all power. So that changes his views slightly. What you want? Andy, what's this statue? No, we don't like the statue. <sighs> for eight I, hours. I assumed it would be lifted because of... It's eight hours. Oh, it's eight, eight hours. hours, yeah. Oh, well then... I said nothing. Okay. <laughs> hey, Andy, what's the stuff? <laughs> <laughs> and he looks over and he goes, I can see you. Were you bothering these nice people? And here within the statue, no. I told them to go away. Did tell me to go away? Uh, I still hate this thing. I don't like it. What the hell is that? And the, the concentration breaks. What's the statue? The <laughs> And then you you were reminded, it told me to get away from this thing. It bamboozled me. (laughs) It said there was nothing here. I was hoodwinked. What's it? What a scallywag. Do you want to tell them what you are, or should I? (sighs) My name is Nefron. I'm a god of this temple. You've been doing a bang-up job. They've been here for two days. They didn't get close enough for me to kill them. We were we like right up here. on you. Gave you a chance. Thank you, Nephron. That's very kind of you, Nephron. He's an Arcana, Arcanaloth. Oh. Jackal person. 
Oh. I I don't know what that is. Would you like to come out? And slowly but surely, you see this in the back of the statue, this door kind of dissipate and open. And out comes in purple robes, because Carlos made a miniature for him, and he didn't fight him. He comes out with a, a couple of scrolls. He's in this purple garb, and he looks out. He's got these little, like, glasses in front of his nose. <clears throat> go about your business and leave. Can, can I go in there? No. Please. Please? <laughs> it's best not to go in there. It's probably best we don't go in there. <laughs> can we see in there? Uh, like, what do we so see? looking in there, it's just pitch blackness. It's him putting his head out, and it looks like it's like a cutout of like his chest sticking out. He's covering himself in uh, magical darkness. Unless you have true sight, which I see, all of you, you wouldn't be able to see him. Very clever spell. Please leave and never come back. We have business, but we'll leave after. Let me see him. I'll be watching. And he goes, Creepy. No, you won't. Yeah. <laughs> you attack them, they're my guests. Nephron, don't be rude to guests or I'll make you combust. That and sounds bad. This is our bad. first meeting. Do you, un- do you know what the spell, Nephron, of. Um, where is it? Power, word, kill. And Nephron goes... <laughs> Carlos just made a face. <laughs> I've heard of it. I don't know what he's talking about. It's a word that... Silly enough, you told me your name. And I speak one word and... You die. So don't test me. And he looks at Thok. So. Whoops. <laughs> okay. So the way the sarcoph- sarcophaguses work, I don't quite remember all of the gifts. I know their names, how to get through. If you were to punch through that uh, that wall, by the uh, for example, and he points to a very far off to this one here. Mm-hmm. Say you decided to be greedy, and it was one of the amber uh, doors. If you hit it, a big blast of necrotic energy smacks into you, and usually most people die there. I mean, that's what happened, I believe, it looks like, to those thieves over here. (laughs) That's with anyone, but luckily, you have me. And I can open with just an utterance of their word. And I think I remember, yes, I certainly remember every password to each door. So, shall we go shopping? Let's. Why not? Okay. So let's see. Which way do we want to go? We want to go. I believe this is area thirty-two. Are we bypassing the amber golem? Uh, yeah. Can we? Is is that something that he can do or no? I can open the door, but I do not control the amber golem, and it would be entertaining to say the least to see you fight it for gold. Do you know the golem's name? <laughs> Doesn't have a name. Can we name him? <laughs> <laughs> You can give him a name. Is that how that works? No. Yeah, I didn't oh. think so. But you can give him one. Bucky. Bucky. And what would you like me to do with his name? Kill it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm saving that for if you cross me. Bucky. Sound <laughs> travel. Bucko. Yeah. That's my name, Bucko. Could, it's not Absidy. Oh, damn it. Could you help us in defeating the stone golem I could would I we did give you your memories back yes and I'm giving you infinite power to take down Strahd oh this isn't the infinite power gold was not part of the deal fine we won't pay attention to that compared to coming back from the dead I feel my services are a little bit more valuable than a few wooden gold pieces and some copper. Wooden gold? Wooden pony? Guys, I think there's legitimately only one thing in there that's helpful. The pony. 
No, it's the not. Chariot? Did you see the chariot? The chariot looks cool. Don't get me wrong. But did you hear about the chariot? I did hear about the chariot. What about the obsidian sword? What about the sword? What about that the sounds awesome. That's a sword. The silvered really rapier is the one thing that would be helpful. Was it, was it silvered? Oh, it had a glass. It had a glass I handle. thought you said it was you silvered. You did say it was silver. Oh, silvered, yeah. 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 The silvered rapier is the only thing that would be helpful. Find the light sword and you can do something much more damage than a silver sword. See? I already like Andy. <laughs> Is the light sword in this temple? No. Do you know where it is? Originally, actually, originally it was here. And then, if memory serves me, you're not the first adventurers to come here. You're definitely the fir- not the first ones to come out alive. There was a very... He reminds me of you a lot. He had mutton chops and a scar... And he came around with this big, dumb... Kept talking to himself in the third person. And they had the light sword on his hilt. And then I remember him going down. They found the passage like that. And then when he came back up, bloodied and damaged. Light sword was still with him. And he said, we have to get out of here, Rocky. Huh. So, I think it was there at one point, but I don't think it's here anymore. I haven't seen it since then. And you have been the next people since, that was maybe like, 15 years ago? I think Rocky. That name know, sounds familiar. To me? Yeah. You know Rocky? When did you meet Rocky? I know, I know of a Rocky. Why would you know the name Rocky? I met him when we went to the other plane. You realize that I've had so many years without you in my life, right? But you know this Rocky? He just said Rocky. He didn't say anything else about him. It could be a different Rocky. But do you know that Rocky? With a large what? third person? Rocky. Maybe. Everyone's large to you, so I guess it would depend on... I mean, I'm using his definition, so... I'm, I'm aware. But large to you could mean different than large show, to me. Show us the power. Sure. So, how the sarcophaguses work. We open the door. Usually about three to a vault. These are... Graves. You put your hand to the, uh... To the sarcophagus and it makes you an offer you accept the offer you can see if you would stand its might and you accept the offer and they're kind of a one shot one done so let's say it's for the rest of your life you have a third arm growing out of your back example or you have um you have a resurrection spell that you can use anytime you want what about the two that are upstairs? The other two. Yeah. If I remember correctly, let me go back in the old Rolodex. There is Tenebros. Mm, you wouldn't be able to do anything with him because he, uh, well, he's a former lich. So if you accept his offer, you would have to be a high level wizard to accept that gift of becoming a lich without any of the dirty work. No souls, what have you, what I did. Um, and then the other west one is... Ooh. It's a dark gift from the dark powers. The power of the vampire. You become a vampire without all the nastiness. But there are some ramifications. There are some rituals you have to do to call upon the power. Rituals like... Um, slaying a humanoid that loves you or reveres them. Um, and then drinking the blood within an hour of the slaying. That's one of them. And then I believe there are, there's another one. There's two ways. That's going to be a hard pass for me. No. I don't even love people. I said a loved one. Die say. That's fair. Uh, well... We'll go 
in there and see which sarcophagi. So we'll go, let's go first. We'll make our way from here, here, and here. How is that? Great. Real trip. <laughs> Road trip. So, let's see here. This is the vault of Shalix, if I remember correctly. And you see him trace a sigil over it, and he whispers into it, Shalix. And you see, and this necrotic energy that would have dissipated and punched into you just wisps away. And inside, the room is uh, has walls of glazed amber, a floor of red marble, and a rough hones shaft in the center of its ten-foot high ceiling. Three amber sarcophagi stand in all alcoves, and above each sarcophagus floats a human skull wreathed in green flame. So our three of your flame skull friends. And he goes, okay, no, no. We're gonna go and let them shop now. Come on. And you see the three flame skulls, and they they slowly creep out. um, Doesn't go in, but he gestures, please. I'll go in. Okay, there's a west, a uh, south, and an east sarcophagus. Which, uh, do they look uniform? Which one would draw Rufio's eye? They all look fairly uniform. There's nothing too flashy about them. Okay. Uh, Maybe Andy has more information about it. Do you know which is which? If I look, I believe that's points to the west. That's Fekre. That points to the south. That's Zrin Hala. And then he goes to the east, and that is Gaian. Don't quite remember what they do, but you can ask them. Uh, so I'll stand in the middle of the floor and I'll... No, no, no. You put your hands oh. to the sarcophagus. I'll do it first to the one on the east. So the east? Yeah. So that is Skyan. Okay. Ah. Far traveler. My gift I can bestow upon you, bestow upon you, is to cheat death itself. Bring back those that you what do you require of me? Um, if you accept my gift, I'll give you the power to raise the dead. <laughs> we have fuck. <laughs> he would hate that. For three times and then my gift will leave, but my blessing will stay with you. I accidentally hit the table. (laughs) (laughs) Spoopy. Uh, And I'll take my hand off of it and I'll go (gasps) south. This is Zrin Hala. I am Zrin Hala, the Howling Storm. You receive my gift and I will give you the power of lightning out of your hands. to use three times and it will vanish. What must I give you? Accept my gift. And I'll take my hand off and I'll go east. You mean or west, sorry. Okay. And then you go to Fekre and you hear this female voice. I am Fekre, the queen of poxes. I give you the power of to spread disease. And I'll take my hand off. And I'll turn and look at them. And I'll tell them what each does. Okay. And then I'm going to take the south. You're going to go to the south? Yeah. And you're going to... Okay. Light, lightning hands. Lightning hands? Lightning hands. Okay, so I need you to roll. Do, do you have to give something? Mm, you're going to find out. Nope, it gets bestowed. Okay. Um, this is... There's also more sarcophagi than just those three. There right? is a lot more. There's a lot more. Okay. Yeah. He's oh. gathering. So in other words, you're just going to take a bunch. <laughs> yeah. Yo, fuck it. I went to you. I went to you. I went to you. Make a uh, charisma saving throw. That's exciting. I'm good at that, allegedly. 
Natural 20. Oh my god. <laughs> you feel this com- compelling to succumb to a dark nature. And uh, you all see this. You see this electricity start coursing through Rufio's body. As slowly but surely, the... Uh, which side is it? The right side of his face starts sagging a little bit. I'm stroking out. A little bit. Mm, strokey. <laughs> and you actually feel lose the feeling in the right side of your face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. So his face is just paralyzed now? Just the right side. Perfect. Cool. <laughs> It's um, it's supposed to be yeah. It's the face. I thought it said the whole right side of the body because that would be hindering, but it's just his face. Oh, sick! All right, Drippy, <laughs> you gotta talk like that now. Please stop. <laughs> What's sick. going on? <clears throat> hey, uh, you got uh, what? What you saying? <laughs> you're, 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 you're is it, is it worth it? I I don't know. Fuck yeah. <laughs> And he kind of looks joke. over. So what, what right. can you do now? Like, what did you just... Do? I can't, He told us. I can't. Oh, he told us? Yeah, yeah. I told him. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So you got lightning hands, and now you kind of got half a face. So, I mean... High risk, high reward. Yeah, I guess so. Uh, I'd true. wink if I could. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> um, so now we know that there can be... Well, will be ramifications of to course. each gift. So if this is the case, Go and the next in. person that decides to accept, do you want me to bless you before? Accept? I rolled a nat 20 and I still got fucked up. Can you imagine what you would have rolled if people were not? No, I can't. 20. What would have happened if I didn't roll a nat 20? We don't. Evil. Oh, shit. Hey, what was it? You become evil. Oh, shit. Well, wow. So, Wait, if he didn't roll a nat twenty, <laughs> he didn't roll higher than the DC save. Oh, is that for all of these? So it is an option. I can't do it many times, but I can do it a couple. Just gonna keep times. poking my face. <laughs> so, I'm trying to wake it up. <laughs> That's not gonna work. Can you do something about this? Let's see. Can Talk we? Amongst s- yourselves, I'm gonna open each one. And you see him, and he slowly, like, floats as you see him slowly touching his hand and saying the words, and you hear more and more doors over here open. And then he kind of crosses over. I want to make sure that there aren't anything over there, but I think it's just this area is all of them. Oh, those two? Uh, Far side? Here and mm-hmm. here? And then there's actually a room over here. Uh, he's going to go... If you give me a moment, I'm going to go upstairs. There's another way down, and through about this area, there's another set of sarcophaguses, so I will be opening that for you as well and showing you the path. Man, a whole buffet yeah, dude, treatment. How, how many of these things are here, just out of curiosity? Um, there are. There's the three upstairs, with the three here, that's six, nine, twelve. Um, oh, well, then there's Delbon, so that's Guestimating? I'm still thinking. 15, uh, 18, 18, about 18 sarcophaguses. And we've, we've already seen three. Six. Six, because he told us the ones upstairs wouldn't help us. Right, so we have 12. Wait, those no, were those upstairs. were two. Those, those were two. Five. With, uh, where they were, was. yeah. Wait, I'm, I'm so confused. No, they the were with the vampire spawn. They're, yeah, right? they're down below, right? So it's it's that room? Yeah, it's that room. Okay. So we've Sorry. seen five. We saw these three, and They're... then the, the two with the vampire spawn. <sighs> one of them makes you a vampire, and the other one is <sighs> for a... Oh, that makes you a lich, Those without having to get souls. Oh, sense. okay, okay. So that's five. So we there's oh, 13 God. left. Got it. Can you, like, can you do something about the... Uh, if you decide to get greedy again, then you'll want me to do something else if you grow a fourth arm more. But I don't want to be a droopy face. Why don't you ask your friend, Fuck. See if he has a restoration spell. He doesn't. I mean, I do, but I'm not <laughs> powerful enough for that. Not yet. What are you trying to say? <laughs> 
I don't know, guys. I think we should continue looking around. I could get rid of poisons and paralysis as of now. That's it. Is this a paralysis? I would say it's technically a paralysis. Is it? <gasps> <laughs> yeah. I I to love me. <laughs> I gotta I want... make. I gotta make sweet love to Peggy, and oh. I can't just tongue her down. <laughs> My face will not let me. <laughs> no one finds this attractive. <laughs> You'll have to wait till tomorrow. It's fine. <laughs> I don't have it prepared. Right. Good to know. Sick. I I walk into the. The other, this bad boy. Y- yeah. Okay. And just start putting my hands on There's it. To north, see. east, and south. Let's go. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna check each. So clockwise, north first. Clockwise. Okay, we'll go north. Yeah, north, east, north and then first. south. first. I am Sadnok, the inscrutable. I can allow you to shield your mind from others' thoughts. You go on. Does anything happen over to my two? And hold on. <laughs> and as far as the rest of them, where it's three and you're done, my gift lasts an entire year. What do you require in return? You accept my gift. Am I also going to lose <laughs> muscle in my face? <laughs> I don't do that. What do you do? Can't really tell you that. Please? Roll a charisma of a plus two, because he's evil. Persuasion. Do, 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 do. Persuasion? Mm-hmm. 18? I've seen it to where it's been very long since someone's accepted my gift, but your eyes melt away. But you can still see. Oh. <laughs> that sounds intimidating. But Irina likes these. I take my hand out. And then I go to the east. And as you go to the east, you hear in the back of your head, focus. So you go to the east. I am Taraka Medes. I am the Grave War. I can give you the power of light. And you look like a dark kitty. How, how would you like to say if your wings were skeletal wings? That would seem pretty cool. That would be pretty cool. <laughs> what what must I give in return? You accept my gift. Pretty please. But there is I do have to tell you the ramifications. There is a you do have to maintain. You can accept and I'll tell you after. Can I hear before? Please. Roller deception. Do Deception. Hear, or uh, persuasion. Do we hear all this as well? I mean, if you're in the room with them, you might hear them responding to it. 24. <laughs> Check how long it'll last for. <laughs> if you don't fulfill your requirement, you die. What is that requirement? How do you feel about dirt or bone? I have a lot of them in my body. How big's your stomach capacity? D- do I have to eat bones? Or dirt. Grave dirt. A pound a day. Oh, that doesn't seem too bad. <laughs> that seems kind of bad. I'm gonna... <laughs> That's a lot. Lucifer's like, not worth it. Nah, <sighs> okay. pitiful. Okay, I pull my hand off. Can I can I respond to to Lucifer? Sure. In my head though. Mm-hmm. What are any of these worth it? Can you guide me? Nah. Ultimately, it's your decision. I'm not a tyrant. I'm not like my father. You have free will. If you want to eat a pound of dirt just so you can fly fifty feet, then do it. It's kind of <laughs> But what guidance can you give me? I think it's a useless spell to what? Where you're gonna fly? What about the rest of these? I don't know the rest of these. I'm learning as you are. Let's go to the next one. Oh, good. I go to the next one. So uh, you go to Shami Amore, the Lady of Delights. 
Oh. And you hear this very sultry, sexy voice in your head. I have the power of persuasion. Oh, that was it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm going to pull my hand off that one. Uh, I don't care. Nah. Uh, I'm, I'm going to walk back out, mm -hmm. sit and ponder, okay. because I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, yeah. Ponder, ponder, ponder. Cool, cool, cool. <clears throat> ponder, 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 ponder. I want to check one out. Hell yeah, yeah. So, because uh, I was like listening, uh, have his we conversations, cleared so. the the rooms in this area yet with tombs? So we've now seen no, eleven. He said that there's another one over there. Okay, this way. But he just hasn't drawn it. Okay, so matter. we'll go to that room and Shark can can check those. Yeah, sarcophagi. Because there's there's one in here that I'm interested in. Oh, okay. Yeah, but you want to you want to know what they? I want to know what the others are because I mean I, we were kind of doing it how we were all listening in. So Andy yeah, he says there's also here and here, so you don't have to go straight upstairs for a shark. Oh, is that upstairs? So the other one you have to go upstairs and then go down for. So it just takes a little bit. Oh, okay. gotcha. Like a passage to here. Okay. But on this floor you have this. And then but we've cleared here. this area, yeah, yes. You got okay. The, the two here. And we can okay. always come back. If, yeah, of course. You okay, do. cool. Where are the super cool ones at, Andy? Well, if you'd like to follow me, there's a set here. All right. I don't know if they're super cool, but hey, this is a breached one. What's so, that mean? Andy. Means that someone's broken in. Fix my face. So <laughs> I go through. This room has amber glazed walls and a floor of purplish uh, black marble. Mm. Two amber sarcophagi stand in alcoves to the west and the east, and a third that once stood in the north lies shattered on the floor. Clustered in the middle of the room are four loathsome hunched creatures. Each one has a single large baleful eye. Oh, nothix. All right, run along. And they look like these fellows that you made me. Oh, those are terrifying. Oh, those are awful. Where are these? Don't, we're, we're not we're over fighting here. them, but they're in that, that, that room. Here. Okay. You okay. can put it out there if you and want. And he looks over and he goes, it looks like this one actually broke free. Huh. So there's one to your east and to your west. Let's check the one west first. This one says both west. That's funny. It says west, northwest. <laughs> okay. So we'll go west. I am Delvon, the star of ice and hate. I have a gift to unleash a deadly cold. Deadly cold? Yes, and you can use my gift seven times. It's more than some of the other people. What do I have to give you in order to get this gift? You just accept my gift. And as long as you have the seven, you can never be cold. Yeah, but what do I gotta, like, give you? You just promise to accept my gift. Nothing happens to me? What regard? I mean, one of our guys took a gift and now he only has half a face. No. Just keep me away from fire. I <laughs> terrifies me. Gotcha. Let go. Okay. <gasps> oh, the that one is just completely crushed. Yeah, that one's not going to work, guys. We see we run into way too much fire. Okay. So I touch the other one. I am Kirad. What was that? Kirad? I am the star of secrets. I give you the power of divination to see your enemy. See them how? So I could see my enemy three times. Or, <laughs> or you can see an ally, a friend. So I could see anybody three times. Anyone. You just have to know that. What do I have to give you? What will happen to me if I accept your gift? 
nothing superficial. <laughs> nothing requiring an ingestion. And you feel the axe kind of warm. As if, you know, you're looking, you have your hand here. And you see the axe, like, and you feel it in your chest. Yeah, I accept. Okay, I need you to make a charisma save. <laughs> you, you have the bless on you, though, right? No, yeah, uh, he, never, he never told me he was going to accept. Yeah. Oh, I, I said, tell me you're gonna accept, and uh, shit, I can't, I can't, no, nope. ret- retro that, nope. Daddy needs a new pair of shoes. <laughs> <laughs> One, <laughs> uh, a ten. That's not horrible. Okay. Uh oh. So your voice kind of becomes lower, and your voice is very similar to. Kirads. Um, so I'm a little bit more like this now. And when you smile, it's cruel. And as you're, your kind of alignment shifts. Ruh-ro. So oh, no. we'll uh, we'll get to that at some point. Oh, fuck. Uh, okay. Uh, where are we going next? Would bless have helped? It was. It would have gone to a C, a right? D four. Yeah, it's a plus a D four. Do we want to? I'll let you get. I'll ro- let you roll the D four if you guys all have a conversation for it. Let's see if you can beat the ten. Oh, you do it. Oh, so I was ju- ju- because you guys were all leaving. Did you bless everyone or you did? not No, because no, I, I had. He didn't said, bless anyone. I had said, "Tell me when you're gonna accept the oh, gift." And I'll so Yeah, no, I yeah. forgot. I forgot. Okay. That's that's why it's on me. Okay. Well, which room were in that? That north? was. That's why I was yeah, more right so here. kind of asking if the. So since everybody else went four into would have helped. Yeah, you want to go into Ooh. a room? Turn. Fuck's gonna do. So it. You said that there's one here. There's one here. Oh, there's one here. Then, uh-huh. So yeah. that one is just curiosity killed the cat. You know, satisfaction will bring him back. Uh, so this room has amber glazed walls, a black marble floor with red veins, and three amber sarcophagi standing in alcoves. Inside, there is actually a death slab. But you see um, Andy, and he goes in, and he goes, as much as it pains me to do this, go on out, and you see the slab from visibility snap. goes into visibility, and it looks at you, and it slinks out. Hey, be nice to talk, Andy. Be nice. If I wasn't nice, then I'd let the slap eat him. We wouldn't let that happen. Okay. So you get the the first one in the north. I'll touch it. Yeah. I am Yerga. I am the Eye of Shadows. I have the gift of true seeing. What is this true seeing? You can see true for 30 days. And what would I have to give in return? You accept my gift. I have not. Not yet. You can make a decision when you would like. I think I have that. Okay. You go to the west. I am the great Tarak, the five headed destroyer. I give you the gift of a great. Strength. Great strength. The power to move mountains. For how long? Ten days. I take my hand off. Ah. The last one? I am your the invincible. I give you resilience to any physical ailment and damage. Do you require anything in return? I need you just to accept my gift. I took my hand off. Ah. And I relay the information to the group. <clears throat> there's another room, right? There is. It's, um, yeah, there's one over here stick. and it's upstairs. Gonna, you'll go slow with points. Okay. okay. So it might be in the way of Absi where you'll slowly shift towards neutral and then if we get to it, evil. Where the map is broken, it goes upstairs down. So it's a little bit of a ways, but there's another okay. set. 
of sarcophagus in there. There's also uh, sorry about that. There is a that one here as well that you said. Yeah. Correct. So there's another one on the on the floor. I just couldn't see it past the screen. Uh I'm I'm not gonna talk like that anymore. But yeah, my face that. is still fucked up. Anyone interested in true sight? Great strength or resilience? Resilience sounds nice. Gesture to my face. Yeah. <laughs> I can fix that in the morning, hopefully. <laughs> Fingers crossed. I just can't do it now. <laughs> no, but I am interested in that other room. The last, the one over here. Yeah. I'm gonna I'll put my hand on the resilient one real quick. Resilient. Yeah. That's uh, what is it, y'all? Y'all. What's up, y'all? <laughs> what do you require? Um, that one was resilience. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yog. Yog. It's Yog. 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 It's okay. I just need your acceptance of my gift. How long am I resilient for? Ten days. I'll take my hand off. (sighs) Peace out. So are you interested in uh, checking the other one out? What? In the the south room? Yeah. I'd like to see those. Follow me, Absidy. Fuck. You bitch. I was, he already said your name. He already, oh, that's right. Yeah, he already he already yeah, he yeah. That's right. Yeah, never mind. Bucko. You're a good guy. Probably. So, as he gestures, you go to the far off. You have the Vault of Thangob. Uh, the, this room has amber glazed walls, a floor of grayish marble with black veins, and three amber sarcophagi in the west, south, and east. And inside are two... Uh, no, there's nothing in here. Sorry. <laughs> oh. That's, it's, a, it's a thing that you get. Oh. So, we go in west? Uh, start south. South? Okay. I have vaunt the evasive. I give you the power of evasion. Eh. <laughs> Let's go to the <laughs> Says west. Says uncanny <laughs> dodge. <laughs> right. Uh, take my hand off and go to the west. Okay, west. Um, I am Norganus. I am the thinker of oblivion. I have the gift to turn any life to undeath. Whoa. For how long? Three times and I vanish. And what do you require of me? Please. <laughs> I need you to give me your acceptance of my gift. Can you please tell me what that will do to me? (laughs) Your blood will not be the same color of red. It's black like my heart. Like tar. Oh. Whoop. (laughs) (laughs) That's a lot. All right, let's go uh, east. What happened? (laughs) (laughs) Okay, sorry. That just throws me off. He asked you a question. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I could turn things undead, but my blood would be tar. Gross. Yeah. You would know. <laughs> what are you talking about? You don't sound like you had a stroke. You sound like you just got braces. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he's like, maybe no one will notice. <laughs> I can't feel my face. He's like drooling out the right side of his face. Um, I still look good, right, guys? So yeah, handsome. you look great. <laughs> Insight. <laughs> Deception. <laughs> so, the next is... It was uh, a lie. I am Sariok. I am the Hellhound Whisperer. With my gift, I give you the ability to summon my children. Two of them. From Lucifer, here's the one. You hear Lucifer in the back of your head. Hellhounds could be interesting. I was thinking the same thing. W- what was his, uh, the the name? Uh, Syriac. Syriac. Yes. What? What do you require of me? What does accepting the gift cause me? Please. For you. And you hear it. Um. For you, my dark lord follower, 
just a mark of your patron escapes your pores whenever you speak his language, the language of devils. It escapes my pores? Yes. I will give you the knowledge of the demon language. It, you need it to command my hounds. How long can I command these hounds for? Till they die. And I can keep bringing them back? You can summon them and you can banish them back. When they die, they do die. I take my hand off. <clears throat> I call the Thok. Thok, can you bless me? Is it worth it? I think so. What is it? Hounds. To help us defeat Strahd. Like dogs? Like big dogs. Very big dogs. Very big dogs. Not quite dire wolves, but... It's... 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 Your... Doesn't... It's... If it's just a dog... If he says it's worth it, it's his choice. Imagine two... Imagine Vin and Paul at our side. <clears throat> Bless me. I take the... I'm just so excited. I take the holy water, mm -hmm. and I go over him and sprinkle while I say a few words mm -hmm. in Orcish and cast Bless. It's second level. Okay. Well, it's actually it's second oh. level, so I'm <laughs> like, at this point, I can bless everyone who's around me. Okay. But it's only for a minute. I mean, it's only for a minute, but. Do level I mean, one. Save the second level. I can't. I don't oh, know. It's a out. second level spell. Oh, I have it at level one. Oh, I do have <coughs> level one, but all my spell slots are full. Heard so. that. Okay. So I go up back to the Hellhound Make one. Make your charisma save. I'm going to give it to you at advantage because you're Lucifer's. Oh, that means all four of us are blessed then. Because yeah. I can bless myself. Uh, too. Okay. So that was. You said. Which would. Which, it's charisma. Save. Charisma. So what was the fifteen, and that is modded twenty. Make it sweet. And with that, you are... would that be a plus two as well? Because he's yeah evil. So you 22. gain the beneficiary a so. beneficiary of uh, you can summon and control two hellhounds, and they appear at the same time, and you can um, summon them back to Just hell. So you can go to and fro, but when one of them drops to zero hit points, they're gone forever. One of them's gone forever. And then you have the other one. If that one drops, then it's gone forever. You don't have any uh, physical things, but sulfurous smoke will uh, come out of your pores whenever you speak infernal, and mm -hmm. they only respond to infernal. Okay. But you do learn that you're able to speak infernal now. Okay. Is there is there anything in D and D Beyond for me to like have the hellhounds? And... Yeah. If you go to where it says beasts, it's like the last one. It says yeah, creatures. It's the last. So if you just kind of swipe through, you'll go to beasts, and then you'll put hellhounds. Do I have lightning Wait, fingers? Creatures. Oh, creatures. Oh, so, okay. you have, um, so yours specifically is, <clears throat> it is you have the ability to cast lightning bolt, the lightning bolt spell, three times as an action. Okay. Where do I find? So go to spells. Okay. And you can go to manage spells. See if you can just add it. Okay. Yeet, yeet. There might be one of those like custom. Yeah. I have to customly add it. Well, I'll, I'll add this after. Yeah. And then you get the scrying spell, Mike, three times. The which one? The scrying spell. So how do I... Scry. So when you go to... Yeah, scry. So when you go to manage spells, you should be able to search scry. Yeah, I'm not, we'll I'm not going to be able to add it, though. We'll look at it after. Yeah, we could do this. Okay. Yeah, good point. Um, okay, so we've got... We did A, B. We did... We didn't do C yet, because that's upstairs. We did D, E. I think upstairs is the only... Because he took the thing, mm -hmm. I like, no one else can touch it in here, stuff. As far as what? As far as, like, when his... Can, can multiple people accept the same gift? Um, um, better if we can't. I'm gonna say, because then it would be just too OP. Um, only one. I would say once it does, kind of the light shines from it. And the power, I guess the power weakens and then they have to rebuild. We'll oh, say that. Fair enough. Okay. And he will relay that to you. It's a one come, one serve. Both. Got See it. See you here again? Okay, yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> you know, like, I don't know. Did you have... Weren't you, like, interested in one of the other ones back? Yeah, I was. Whisper. Yeah. I mean, we still have... We have a minute for Bless. I, I, th I think I'm good. Run. Sure. <laughs> Run. Oh, I was just curious. Okay, follow me. Follow, follow. So you go all the way up 
and you see you pass Cat, uh, the, the library. Casimir is still there with the note on his chest. <laughs> I'd say it's been about. Because you guys deciding and talking, maybe it's been about an hour. That's not fair. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So we go back up, go back down, and now we are in uh, C, <clears throat> which is the vault of the ghastly vault. There are seven ghasts that are just hanging out there. And then he goes, all right, go, go, come on. And all four of them, the seven of them, you just see them slowly go through the, the rock and they go back down. So this room has amber glazed walls and a floor of dark green marble. Hmm. Three amber sarcophagi stand in alcoves. Two feral humanoids with glass, ghastly gay skin stare at you hungrily with three eyes and two normal eyes and a third blindless eyelid. And then five more were on the walls and the ceiling, but they all left. So there is uh, north, east, and south. I'll go uh, north, east, and south. Okay, okay you all. Yeah, I'll, I'll touch them all and do it. Yeah. yeah. If there's yeah, anything yeah. interesting, I'll let you know. Okay. So north is the dark gift of Drizlash. I am the nine eyed spider. I, my gift is the power to walk on walls and ceilings including difficult surfaces, mountainsides, or upside down so you can walk on ceilings without the need to make sure that you're okay. I don't like that. I don't know uh, what, what must I give in return? You give me, you accept my gift. How long do I have it for? Definitely. As long as. As long as there's breath in your lungs. What happens to me if I accept? You get a marking from me. <laughs> Is it on the right side of my face? And I'll take my hand off. I'll convey to the group, and then I'll go to the next one. Okay, we'll go east. I am Dalvinar, he of many teeth. I have the power to live many lives, and I can bestow that on to you. What must I give you? Your allegiance and accepting my gift. What? How long do I have it? Or how many times can I use it? Three times. And it's not your choice. It happens instantaneously and it's to me it doesn't happen to like I can't be like the minute you die you come back right next to your own body new what happens to me you get rejuvenated and you become brand new when you die but what happens to me Sorry. Uh, like, <clears throat> like the, what's the catch? Yeah, you can roll a uh, persuasion to see if it'll tell you. Pretty please. Oh, that's good. Please roll decent. Nineteen, modded nineteen. Um, um, for the first three times, on the third time, you regain them, but you lose all your teeth. Is, is that better or worse than having a droopy face? I don't even know. <laughs> I got a new face. You would get a new body. That's true. It's a reju- rejuvenate, which means you would roll a percentile. And then based on that percentile, you can either come back a tiefling, an orc, kenku. It's a reincarnate. Sorry, it's a reincarnate spell. Shit. You still come back, but it's not. But it's not guaranteed as a human or. A... It's not necessarily 100%. Do you, do you relay that to everyone? Yeah. Okay. What'd he say? Fuck, make a wisdom save. Oh. What? Eighteen. You hear in the back of your head, you hear the drums of Anubis. If he were to accept, he would fall out of grace with the queen. It'd be easier. He could come to our side. Come a follower of us. 
And as you think about that, because, you know, that's your decision to make. He's proposing it to you. Mm-hmm. We have one more sarcophagus. Yeah, and I'll go up and touch it. <clears throat> um, I am Xandros, and I am the Kingmaker. My gift comes from great presence and force of personality. I can make you more charming, more intimidating, more deceptive. I can make you a cult of personality. What must I give you? Your allegiance. How long do I have your gift? Indefinitely. What must I do? Or what happens? What are the... What's the catch? You gain... A new want. We never take no for an answer. Ever. And we won't have to if you accept me. Set my hands. Ugh. <clears throat> so that's the last one. I'll let you guys talk amongst yourselves because I'm going to use the restroom myself. Yeah. And then he's just going to go into the hallway. Was that this room? Mm-hmm. Okay. So... Rufio. There's a lot of power in this room. This specific one, yeah. And honestly, Del- Dalvinar's is not that bad of a risk. If you think about it, losing all your teeth to be able to be re- reincarnated three times. But I don't come back as me. I think... All of internally you are you, but you still come back alive. And I could I could bring anyone back, that's fine. But my powers have limits. I'm considering taking this one myself, but I've already died and came back, so I don't know how it'll react to me. You'd be like Grey. I mean, I've died and came back not like myself, but I'm still myself. This isn't what I looked like when I first died. This is what I looked like after death, and it wasn't that bad. Would I be... My thing with... So, I'm gonna DM this because of of the new flaw that I have I Rufio wants power but this doesn't feel like a power to me this feels I don't know this Roll, roll religion for me okay I don't think I have any plus to that nope eight you can, I mean, you can ask also Thok. Thok might know information about the Raven Queen. Thok's talking to me about it a little bit. So He's Thok, pushing me towards it. You can roll a religion as well. Eight. <laughs> <laughs> Do I have a plus anything? Uh, plus two, ten. I mean, everyone knows about the Raven Queen, so if you guys want to join in too. But do, do we know the implications? You know what the Raven Queen's about, because you guys would all learn about I'm it. I'm right? going to grab her sigil on my armor and try and reach out to her. Okay. And you feel this cold kind of uh, ice mm-hmm. as you touch it and you think about this rejuvenation, this reincarnation. And it's, you know, it gets so cold that it actually starts hurting. Okay, I'll take my arm off. And I'll look at the group. The Raven Queen is a god of a goddess of death. So is Anubis. But the Raven Queen believes when it's your time, it's your time. And I'll step back. You conveyed all of that to us, right? Mm-hmm. Like, what, yeah. like all of the different everybody. yeah. Arsophagus. Um, <clears throat> can I go up to the last one? Mm-hmm. The Which one, one was it? The one where you don't take no for an answer. As okay. the 
Sure. From my hand. Xanthar. Yeah. What the, is it? Xanthus, the Kingmaker. Xanthus. Yeah. Can you? I want to put my hand on that one. And it relays the same information. You become a great force of personality. What must I give in return, please? <laughs> you give me your uh, your allegiance, and you accept my gift. What does my allegiance entail? You don't take no for an answer. From anyone else? Anyone. We are our own. Right. I accept. Okay. Almost. Hey, can you bless me Whoa, again? Oh, <laughs> that feels a little cheesy. Yeah, okay, I'll just do it. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Alexa, stop! I don't care about the. Well, I do care about the homeless population. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, no. I don't you, care. <clears throat> did you want me to bless you? Yeah. No, I'll bless him. Damn it. <laughs> yeah, that feels unfair. If, if we didn't get to do it for Shart, we can't do it I for. I would say, that if you want to roll a d4 right now, I will let you roll a d4. And add it to the. And add, and it, add to it to the 10. The 10? Mm-hmm. Oh! A 4. <laughs> you made the save. <laughs> so your alignment doesn't change. Correct. You still do have the raspy. Yeah, no, it's okay. I could, I could get by like this. Oh, girl. Does anyone have a Ricola? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you guys after. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, so I'm rolling. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Four. <sighs> what? Do we what? Roll Four. Together? You rolled a one, a two, and a two? Yeah. <sighs> What's your charisma save with that? Oh, so six. Okay, uh, great. Um, oh my god. Your charisma goes up by four. Okay. And, uh, you should. We're gonna talk about it later. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. You're still at true neutral, so we're gonna. You might go full Vader, dude. So if it's like 16 now, his charisma's like 20? Yeah, it's a max of 20. Like, it's at 19 now. Holy Was shit. Was that plus? Or? That's plus four, so it's. No, it's at 19 total. Yeah. Oh, 15 right now, now, so it's gonna go up to yeah. 19. Mm hmm. Well, yeah, he's at 15 up to 19. Shit. Jesus. And you can do that manually. Yeah. Um, so Andy kind of looks at all of you. Well, it seems that everyone but Falk got a gift. Can you... Is, I'm a little impatient. I think I might have a spell for that up in my library. Come, come. Yes. <laughs> Please, anything to make him stop talking like that. <laughs> so you all go up to the library and Casimir's there. Uh, I would say it's been about 30 minutes. You're all more than welcome to sit while I... I'm going to peruse. There are quite a, there are quite a few books. I think I, I think I know where it is, but <clears throat> we'll figure it out. And you see him slowly float up. So... You see the reason why he didn't get a ladder. He can just float up. Yeah. He starts going through Whisper. No. Oh, is this a high school you? <laughs> <laughs> so I'll look at everyone. It was a bad summer. <laughs> I'll look at everyone and go, uh, we need to figure out where we go now. I think we need to go. We've left Esmeralda alone for long enough. We need to get back to her. And then Richton's tower. Yeah, that could be very useful information to get back to him. Are you okay? I think this is what happened to me when I accepted my gift. Got it. Makes sense. So if there's anything that you can do to help me out with this thought, I would appreciate it. I can try. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna put my hand on his throat and cast Cure Wounds. At no, I, don't, I don't think that would help. You don't think it'll help? It would be oh, more okay. like a restoration kind of spell, maybe. Uh, yeah, but it's not a paralysis or a, what's the other thing? You, you don't mean? know. It could be well, more paralysis of a paralysis mean of his vocal cords. Uh, well, that would mean well, that not work, right? Like paralysis, poison, like stuff like that. I don't know. Stand back. I mean, that's a damn call. But um, I think we need to go back to Van Richten's tower and we can't really go back to it. We got to go to it for the first it. time and uh, see Esmeralda. There's stuff there that we need to do. You mentioned the sun sword. And yes. that Rocky and the tall man had it. Rocky was the tall man. Oh, I thought Rocky was the short guy. Who's the mm -hmm. short guy? No, he kept saying his name is Scroll. Yeah, Scroll. 
Do you know where they might have gone? They said, if I remember correctly, and he kind of opened and unhinges his jaw, and you hear, like, a recording. <laughs> of, you hear, like, shit exploding in the back, and you hear Rocky going, Me on fire! Me on fire! I know, you fucking idiot! We have to go! That was here? Yes. But they didn't say where. I can check if you'd like. I would. <laughs> I don't know what I said. Me on fire! Me on fire! We have to go, you fucking idiot! We can... I can see if I have it farther. What the hell is that, Rocky? Me think it big skeleton, me crush it. No, it has a book, that's probably not good. Uh, I don't know, Lola, what do you think? And you hear like a zoom, And you hear this benevolent voice, this very kind woman's voice. Scroll, I don't think this is something that we should be messing with. It's weak, but not entirely our mission. We're here to defeat Straw. Yeah, yeah, defeat Straw, that whole thing. God, you're a broken record. So, what's in the bottom of this thing? Do I know you? Uh... Lola. I believe if he, w he was talking to the Sun Sword. A nickname. Oh. You said you knew him. You saw him. He kept poking at me. Did he have the sword on him? No. So it must be lost. He must have gotten it stolen. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome, Apsi. Andy. Not my name, but okay. Fish. I'm looking, I'm looking. <laughs> uh are you coming with us, Doc? Von Richten is very much alive. I don't really have much else to do. I don't have anywhere else to go. And I did promise to try to fix your face in the morning, so sure. I was gonna say, and if not, it's real name. What was it again? And Ethan. Exanther. 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 Yes, sure. Exanther. If you can't find anything for his face, if you could find something for my voice, I would appreciate that. It's okay if you can, I'm just asking. It's fine. Let me see if I can find something in this library. You're more than welcome to take a rest in my other room here. I think I just need some water. I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, like, turn to look at Absidy yeah. and change my face into the old woman's face real quick and then shift it back. Okay. It's gonna be really quick. And I just, I'm making eye contact with you at the time, yeah. right? So I shift, shift back. And I just smirk. Do we catch this? Uh, you can roll perceptions. Which old woman's face? When I when I uh, did my thieves can't mm -hmm. to get... Uh, uh, to talk to me, Rocky and, and scroll. he followed me, that's why he 12. knows who they are. Was it perception? Yeah. 15. Roll those sweet deceptions. Oh, shit. <laughs> so one of you are good at this. <laughs> Super good now. 26. <laughs> I have Lord. a plus 10. I can't wait till you see straw and you're like... <laughs> 13. Kinda. I don't. Nope. Oh, you, you perceive really quick that Rufio's face... Is that what you saw? Or they're doing more magic shit. Annoying. Oh, Annoying. Oh, it's been a long two days. <laughs> um, I'm going to... Since we're taking a rest, I'm assuming, um, just sit off on the side and kind of like pray to Anubis mm -hmm. and think now knowing what all of our options are with these gifts are there any gifts that you feel like the reward or the risks are worth anything I know that I tried to persuade what um, you needed us to do but there's not much I can do make a wisdom save and we'll get to you I'm gonna talk to Andy a little bit sure I just want to, uh, uh, just general overarching, like... Let him look. <laughs> um, like, what do you know of Strahd? Is there anything he can tell us to help? 
He's been around the way. He made he, he made a deal with the dark powers with death to not die. At least that's what I've heard. He's never really interested me. Is there anything you can help us with? I think I've done enough. No? Uh, well, it never hurts to ask. That's fair. Still looking. I don't I'll... seem to see anything for this. And he tries, and he puts a bony hand to your face as he pumps in a greater rest- restoration, and it still stacks. Well, have you considered maybe like tape? Tape fixes everything. <laughs> Maybe like a, a chip bag clip. Do they have gaff tape in Barovia? <laughs> Don't play gaff tape and safety pins. Oh. <laughs> Cause gaff tape is the best stuff. <laughs> uh, what else, sir? You, everyone doing? <laughs> I'm say. not going to. Seventeen. Okay. I'm Wait. not gonna utilize any of the stuff that I just got, but I am still gonna try and talk to either Paul or Vin to just. just in like my meditative state. Okay. So, uh, what's what are you? What's Absidy doing throughout this whole thing? Once I'm done m- with my interaction with, uh, is it sleep time or what are we doing? Short rest. You oh, doing short rest. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty say, sure it's just a short, short rest. Because right? mm-hmm. you already long rested. It's been about like what three, five, three five, or four. I was gonna hours. say five hours, maybe. Yeah, I would say that, and it's been like at the end of this, Casimir should be waking up. Okay. Oh, when he wakes up, I take my cloak back. Or my, my pelt. <laughs> He's got a ring Fuck you, He can't bro. keep that. He's not going to keep that. That ain't for you. you. Um, <laughs> no one won't take my pants off. So you were, you were talking to uh, Andy. Andy, right? Yeah. I was just, while you were doing that, just looking around the library. So I'll catch up with Absidy at a point where we're not really around anyone. Sure. So the first angel, huh? The first angel. Yeah. Putting us in a bad spot, Absidy. I'm doing what needs to be done. According to who? According to me. I will defeat Strahd. So we you think can defeat Strahd. We could have done it without a deal with him. The deal doesn't concern you. Does it concern Irina? I did this for Irina. Pretty sure she's not going to see it that way. We'll have to wait and see. I guess we will. You know, we're two sides of the same coin. No, we're not. I see your lust for power. And I know where that can go. Yeah, you do know where it can go. The difference between you and I is I didn't make a deal for power. I'll acquire it on my own. Will you? You took the bitch way out. How many patrons do you have? Two. And I didn't have to make a deal with a demon for any of them. How many patrons do you have taking your own way? Gaining your own power? You want to call that the bitch way out? You did it twice. So if you want to stop talking shit about me and start looking at yourself... I'm going to punch Absolute in the face. And I dodge it. Okay, roll an attack. Roll, uh... I mean, you have uncanny dodge, so... Right, yeah. Let's see if he hits. What What would that be? So he's gonna do an attack, so he has to see if he hits your Is AC. that strength or dex? You're doing a punch, so You it's, should have unarmed strike. Yeah, it's an unarmed strike. On your, uh... On, on your D&D Beyond on the action. It's a straight, like, plus your strength. It's, like, action and attacks. Oh, plus five. So that's a modded 21. Okay, so 21... And oh, on this? So, 16? So, hold on. You, you, I mean, 21 is your AC, right? Or 16 is your AC, correct? Right? Yeah. So, he's a, you're able to hit him, but you see it, so you're able to uncanny dodge it. Okay. So, will your... Damage? Is there a damage, or it's flat? Uh, it says three. Okay. So, it's a three flat, and so it's half to one. You sidestep... Two. And, or two, sorry. You round up. And he just kind of skits, like, and scrapes the side of your face. <sighs> You know I'm right. And I walk away. Tell him to look at the right side of his face. <laughs> I just let it go. I let it go. Because I already walked away. Yeah. 
I chuckle though. I laugh. <laughs> <laughs> so it's at this point, Casimir starts stirring. Ow. Oh. And you see him open his eye, and Andy's just kind of like looking down on him. Oh, God! Cas- Casimir! Yeah? It's okay. Uh, are we sure? Like, he's he's looking at me. I no, thought no. I couldn't get up. No, no. Your name is Andy. No, his name, <laughs> is, his name is Xanther. <laughs> Xanther. He's a, he's, he's a friend. He's I friendly. Voice. Maybe someone with a voice should talk. I just want to go up to him with my droopy face and smile. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Did he do this to you? No. Yeah. Your voice is on, were no. you yelling at him? <laughs> what did you do to him? <laughs> they did this to themselves. I did this to myself. What's going to happen to me? You're it fine. depends if you're interested on gaining any gifts. Yes. And, and getting the rewards. And Cast American, you help with my face. Falk is, <laughs> Falk is starting to join with the program. I mean, you don't have to reap the benefits to know the deal. <clears throat> yes, Casimir, there is one left for you. And I'm very excited to see if you accept it. From what it seems, is it something very lucrative that you would be interested in? I mean, it could affect all of you, roughly, but this is more interesting. So, Casimir, please, if you'd like to go up. <sighs> Can we follow? <clears throat> follow if we'd like. Did anything happen with that wisdom save, by the way? With the wisdom save? Oh, that's right. I'm so sorry about that. Oh, you're good. So, during your, your thought and your prayer, so while everyone's kind of like talking and, and whatnot, you start hearing those drums again. And uh, anything that's lucrative, and you hear Anubis. Nothing that we can handle. I've brought you back once before, correct? Yes. With all of your teeth intact. Correct. Correct. Skin's a little pale, but it's not anything I can't handle. No, nothing a suntan will do. Joke. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> I know that you tried to convey, to convey to the paladin. Him breaking his oath to the Raven Queen. He would lose all power he has and he would become... Uh, vulnerable to us, but that is fine. There's still use from him yet, as we see his powers wane from her weakness. We can start moving forward. Stick with them. Preferably that one. His lust is going to overweigh at one point. Okay. Just keep me posted. I will. The, the gifts here in this dimension... It's so much easier to talk to you. I've noticed. I'm not used to it. Well, you leave Barovia, you take down Strahd. We find, we grip, we make you go stronger, we get you stronger. You start spreading the word of Anubis. We gain more followers, I gain power in my followers. And in time, as she gets crippled, the Raven Queen is crippled. I will take back death. That was your throne at first, right? Never move in with a girlfriend. <laughs> I'll keep that in mind. Okay. You come back and that's when Casimir will go up. <clears throat> and so, did you want to follow Casimir to yeah. the last sarcophagi? Yeah. So you have the west, the south, and the east. As you you haven't put your hands up to it, and Casimir kind of looks at you. What up? Do I go like in the middle? I'm like, hey, what's up? You go just ahead. touch. Okay. They'll they'll each tell you of a gift. Fair warning: each gift has its ramifications. <laughs> So that's what happened to you. Yes. Yes. He accepted a gift. And that's what happened to me as well. And he accepted a gift. And you accepted, but you didn't accept one. I did not. You didn't accept one. I did. But I don't see anything wrong with you. Not all of us are weak. Some of us have the devil on our side. What? Huh? 
you know, like the devil you know is better than the devil you don't. I'm assuming you meant some of us have the devil on our shoulder. Right? Yeah. The other devil, the, the, the angel. Why does he seem cheery? It's unnerving. It's creepy, I know. Uh, so <laughs> he goes to the west and he goes, Oh, this one wants me to become a vampire. I don't think that's going to help me. You don't. You don't have to accept. Okay, okay. What's their name? Their name is, um... <laughs> Diligent note-taking. They don't... They don't have a name. <laughs> Vampire one. They say that they... They can dispo... They can bestow upon the gift... The dark gift... Of the vampire. Okie doke. Well, I don't have anyone who loves me anyway, so... Let's move on. Ah, uh, goes to the cell. <clears throat> this one wants to turn me into a lich. I feel like that doesn't help me either. No offense, Andy. And you hear, like, Andy on the back of my all of your ears. Not taken. Never gonna get used to that. I hope I don't have to. Also, I am not that powerful. I'm, I'm a sorcerer. I'm not. Woof. And then he goes to the east one. This is, uh, this is Zadun. You're the one who was speaking to me. And you see him in his eye shift, and you see one single tear go down his cheek, drip to the floor. I think this is the one. What's his gift? You know, with a, a revivify spell, they have to be dead within ten days, so you can bring them back. Correct. This one, it doesn't matter how long they've been dead for. And I can bring them back. What's the catch, Casimir? I don't care. Casimir, there's always a catch. High risk, high reward. You said it yourself. The catch is... I can get my sister back. And with that, you see a flash of light. And we'll see if he makes it. Oh, he didn't know about the blast either. <laughs> <laughs> he was all unconscious and stuff, you know. He was all unconscious and shit. Oh, <laughs> good, good hit. Um, and you see him as he does. He starts gritting, <clears throat> and you see the the color and like the life itself escaping his body as his body becomes more withered and like mummified, and he looks undead. Join as, the club. Okay. As you see him, and fuck, someone called. Oh. It's a wonder done. But I can get her back. I can get her back now. And you see him, and he sits down, and whenever he inhales, his chest doesn't really expand. I use a divine sense. Oh, you do it. <laughs> you bitch. You bitch. I'm a bitch. Um, you detect undead, but you get a ping off Andy. You don't get one off it. Not off of Casimir? Nope. He just has the appearance of a corpse. What else is it? Undead? What? A celestial fiend, an undead. I also can detect good and evil. You get the ping. You start getting the ping off of Absidy. Aside from everything else that we normally... Okay. So, okay. I think this is where we part. No. You're going to be okay? When you go to Strahd's, I know my sister's in the catacombs. And now I can bring her back. You have an ally with the Dusk Elves. We'll fight till our last breath. And I'm going to pay that bastard back for this. Sounds like a plan. And Andy goes, will you be staying for dinner? That's a joke. I don't eat. <laughs> you can't. I was really excited. I wasn't that excited. Oh, Andy. Not Andy. Keep saying that, and I'd say what? Can know. we get out of here before I punch him? <laughs> Xander. We need to get out of here. Yes. Did you figure anything else out about this? I couldn't read anything about it. That's okay. Unfortunately, with this, this is 
<laughs> I'm sorry. I think outside of something of like a wish spell. <laughs> Shit. But if you have a wish spell, this is wouldn't really be a top priority. No. Risk. <laughs> I can't. I can't even do it on the left side, so I couldn't. So. Anything else we're doing within the Amber Temple? Uh, <clears throat> I think I think we've done enough. We've, we've done a lot. Sharp. Uh, uh, Andy. Uh, uh, not Sharp. Xanther. Uh, kid. Yes. Before Jared. we go. Yes. Yeah. Are there any other, like, I know you gave us these gifts. Are there any other items within the temple that could be useful for taking down Strahd? I know that the sword that we were seeking initially is gone. Wielding a blade of pure sunlight in the murkiest, darkest region of a pocket dimension. That's going to be your best bet, kid. Any gold? Don't you think everyone got their high reward? Uh, yeah, Just yeah. because some of us didn't decide to take it. Fuck. You don't get a goodie bag before you leave. Oh, man. He wanted food. He wanted good <laughs> I was going to name her Tanya. I turn around and just walk out of the room. And that stench of decay you slowly leave out. With this farewell adventurers. And Casimir's gonna walk out with you. And remember, if you're ever around the Ember Temple, don't come inside. <laughs> Thanks, Xanther. You're welcome, Shart. Direwolves! White wolves. <sighs> White direwolves. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Slow, slowly... But surely, yes? No, oh, okay, nothing. No, I'm just like, <laughs> uh, as you go out, it's kind of like, it's close to dusk. You see the it's the sun is starting to set and the moon's coming up. And you see the small camp on the side of the of, of the, the Amber Temple. And you see dirt like this, <laughs> covered in like five furs. And the berserkers are like, maybe we should get more pelts. <laughs> like, and you see just like meat. And like bones and shit, like they've been feeding him, and it's like. And he looks up and he's like, "What the fuck? The fuck? I've been here for two days, two days. What happened to your face? You know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> I don't care. What happened to Casimir? Fuck it. Did you not get our message? <laughs> I got it. I was told that you were safe." Was that alive? And then nothing? <laughs> and then, like an expiration? Or like, hey, how you doing? <laughs> or have you just been eating meat? Or have you been eating grizzle? Do you know what cartilage tastes like for like two days? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we missed you, Dirt. Fuck you. <sighs> it's so... Old. Well, we're going even more north, so get used to it. Get it. I'm glad. I get from a big bear hug. <laughs> and he's just like, and you feel him, and he's just, he is ice cold to the fucking touch, despite having, there's no fucking meat on him. He's just getting 13 year old bones. I'm trying to warm him up. <sighs> this is nice, thank you. You're welcome. Oh god, why is your voice creepy? I can't help it. Uh, stop talking. <laughs> Sorry. No, stop. <laughs> I go to the leader of the berserkers. Like, yeah, what are the they? They're like tribal men. Uh, um, I'm ask, uh, thank you for keeping your word. Of course. Where, where, where does the winds take you now? The wilds will take us to the west, I suppose. What's there? They do not say, but... Great adventure. We've been hiding out here for a while. Only cover here where we're passing, but we've stayed for a few months. I think it's time that we move forward. Well, with... If you ever run into me, with me you have an ally. Neither the same. Like yeah, four black crass. 
class. Gladiator style. Gladiator style. You also notice the dire wolf is gone. The, the, the evil dire wolf. The meat's not the dire wolf, right? No. <laughs> Pansy ran away. Said he had to go run off to his master. Strahd. Who? Who's his master? Mm. <laughs> huh? Oh. So, the, like the four of them and the, the gladiator woman. We start ho- going out by nightfall. Less easy to track. But you're more welcome to our flyer and to our tents. We got extra. What do you guys think? Spend the night and head out in the morning? <clears throat> yeah, for daybreak. Agreed. Yeah. We'll take you up on that. Okay. And you do so, you set up camp. Anything we want to do while we close out. Did I recognize the dire wolf before? You didn't. You asked him questions and you saw that he was kind of mangy, like large, but he was red eyes. You asked that before. I was going to say, well, just because you said that, it kind of made me think, Mm -hmm. wait, did I? You did. did. So, okay. He's full full strive. Yeah. Legion or whatever you want to say. Gotcha. Just not Vin. Just going to uh, pray like normal. And uh, this time in prayer, I'm going to also ask the Raven Queen to uh, watch over Absidy, that I feel like he's lost. Okay. And uh, I want to make sure to make, like, to break away from camp once I'm de-armored and try and get to Casimir. Okay. I'm, I'm assuming he's not, like, in the tent area with us. He's gonna stay... He'll probably stay to himself and yeah. figure out the I kind of want to get... Made. Yeah, I kind of want to get over to him at some point and talk. Okay. <laughs> um, so do I need to in in summoning the hellhounds is mm-hmm. it like an do I have a certain amount of times I can do it or can I just summon them whenever I want it's like a familiar yep like okay familiar. you can just like familiar. until they die you just have a, an infernal like word like a command word which would instill upon you something to the effect of like come okay then um I'll, I'll wait until everyone is asleep, mm-hmm. and then I'll kind of go off into the woods a little bit, summon them, and just An experiment. Just like introduce myself, get to know them. We'll get to that. We'll go in an order. Oh boy! What are you doing, Buck? Uh, I'm just gonna get to know like the berserkers and kind of like mm-hmm. very simple kind of life. Sit around the fire, telling full war stories or you know battle scars. Hey, yeah. I got this with this and this and that and blah blah blah. So. And that warms your heart and your bond with the the berserkers grows stronger. Um, and then you're obviously, you're meditating to Paul? Yeah. Okay, so we'll wisdom save, wisdom save. Ooh, not great. Uh, 11. Okay, 11. It's just a long episode. It is. 14. 14. Um, no. You start smelling the evergreen, the forest, as you think of Paul, and you see the the axe kind of glow a little bit and you think in your head you're like high risk high reward uh with your 11 you hear the tolls in the back of your head and that icy that you felt on the uh shoulder is is not there um and then you said you wanted to talk to Casimir Mm -hmm. so I'll let you go ahead and do so uh here's your rock and he chuckles thank you uh, take the magic off of them. Will you be going back to camp? We're going to Von Richten's tower. Another journey for us. Uh, how quickly do you think you'll be going back to camp? I'll be going back as soon as I can. And I, I need to ready my men because we need to be ready soon. I'm a little impatient to get my sister back. Is there any way that I could give you a correspondence to get to Irina. Takes out the rock. It's kind of private. Do you mind? Please. And I'll grab it. Do I have an un, like, is it? I think there's a certain amount, but I'll give you like two or three sentences. Okay. I hope you're staying safe. Please be careful. Absidy has changed. 
and then I'll hand it back. Puts it in his pocket. Well, thank you for tolerating this. I know we've had friction in the past, but Casimir, I really want the best for you. I hope you know that. I do. And I desperately hope we get your sister back. I guess I will. I'll be right there with you. And I'll put my my hand on his shoulder and I'll then turn around and go. And so then you go to sleep Mm -hmm. in that city. Yep. Yeah. I just wanted to jump in before like sleep for good. Yeah. After I was trying to talk to Vin, Mm -hmm. I would want to question some of the additional berserkers to see if I could find out any more information about the dire wolf that was there. Dire wolf. Can you just find out information through the story with Bach and them that through their travel they came across this dire wolf that one of them wanted to kind of bend it at the knee and make it a pet and it just it has this undying servitude to its master and that it's ever watching and then when he gets the the okay he'll come home did he have like anything on him that he didn't have the collar that you're looking for or one of those collars but you know it looked like when you first saw him he was just grabbed by the scruff and it was just kind of he was a free ranging that how they managed to take down a dire wolf speaks volumes about how powerful those berserkers were and so Absidy in the deep evening of the night everyone's asleep you go out into the uh, the clearing this <clears throat> past this thick brush and you're, you find yourself like a very large clearing and as you look you see at like an astral projection and you see Lucifer and it seems that he's in like a very royal like handsome garb his hair is pulled back and he's sitting kind of leaning on a rock that was pretty gutsy. What was? All of that. Accepting that gift. Both of them? Or one of them? How many did you accept? Two. Two's a lot. I'm doing what needs to be done. You're doing what needs to be done, but will you act when the time rises? I don't need you to become another Strahd. We have bigger things to do. I will never be Strahd. (sighs) Doesn't, doesn't smirk. That's me smirking. (laughs) He sighs. Let's, let's hope that way. Let's keep it that way. Deal. So. Hellhounds. I want to see what these do. So do I. Speak in Infernal. Which now you have the knowledge of. Summon them. You see him and he kind of just, you're like, Summon the hellhounds! And then you see this, you hear this howling as this fissure of just kind of um, sparks and brimstone and fire slowly turn and there's skin going back onto uh, bone and meat. As you see these these two hellhounds (laughs) snap. And they're, they have this smell of sulfur. And as you speak the word, you see out of your pores this of this sulfur coming out. And uh, Lucifer goes, hmm, we'll be a good subject yet. We have a lot to work on, but I'm very excited. And with that, we will end today's episode. Holy shit. Oh boy. So just out of curiosity, before we go by, are we still level seven? Yes. Okay, cool. <laughs> tell us when we, when we go up a level. You know yeah. How close you guys are. You don't need more stuff. Yeah, we do. All right. Well, <laughs> thanks for watching this transformation. Yeah. A lot has changed. It's my face. We're going to. Oh, yeah. His face is droopy now. <laughs> I that can't talk. So he can't talk. So mighty. Yeah, this was a heavy episode. This was super heavy. So I feel like I need to hug everyone. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to be doing some talking after this. Um, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for watching. And uh, we love your faces. Woo. Bye. Bye.